Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And just by that being said, you know what I'm saying? I might as well go ahead and do dark matter. You know what I'm saying? Since I did particles and shit like that, I might as well go ahead and do dark matter. You know, dark matter, because scientists, I know they need help. Um, Now, as far as dark matter, what is dark matter? Dark matter is a vibration. Dark matter is ultimately emotions. It's a, it's an emotion. It's a it's a feeling. Now listen, a vibration and emotion feelings come in waves. It comes in waves. It's a vibration. This is one of the energies that created fluid for fluid to be fluid in the first place. So all the fluids you see in all realms of realities come from this mechanism first. You see what I'm saying? So it's a wave. So this is why they can't see dark matter. And this is why they're saying dark matter uh, is take up more percentage of the actual other particles. You see what I'm saying? Because think about Earth. What takes up more Earth than everything else? A form of fluid, water. And every realm of reality is going to be a form of fluid that take over the realm of reality more than what you can see in the realm of reality. Now, for the most part, um, when we want to talk about dark matter, now, that's the wave. So when we want to talk about a particle, a particle is observing the wave. So a particle is left brain, dark matter is right brain, off the bat. So say there's a wave. So there's a conscious emotional feeling or emotional stance or a vibration amongst something. So that's a wave, especially when it's a grouping of people who feel the same way about something, about whatever it is. That's a wave. Then trying to observe the wave, you give off a thought. What, like, what is this is, scientists try to put this, make this outside of themselves. But really, this is what's, what they're observing is something that's going on with inside. So, a particle. A particle is when a, fo a photon is a thought given off, a, a a, and then it becomes a neutron when it when it's a thought, when it relates to a piece of the, the wave, a.k.a. the dark matter, that it was a particle. So, a particle is a reflection to that particle that was just given off. So that that becomes a neutron now. They want to both come together. It creates an electron. And that spark makes it be observable. And that spark is what they call the particle. Now, this is why they say it comes in waves because it comes in the same. It needs things. And these are the building blocks of reality in general. This is how you know we live in a collective conscious. This is, this is how you know we collective uh, and we built this collective conscious based upon what we agree on. This is this is how I even made the last video saying that a particle is a thought. A particle is a thought. So look, dark matter is less dense, so we know it's an overall vibration, overall feeling and emotion. So lights, aka when particles is give off, it's going to take shape and form around the dark matter. No matter no matter what kind of light spectrum this is, it's going to take shape and form around whatever the dark matter is. Now for an example, just like. Whatever actions you do in your life that I'm consciously aware of or that anybody can see in your life, the actions you do is what they're consciously aware of, right? But what motivated that action was how you felt, your emotional stance on something, right? So your, so your actions took shape and form around your emotional stance. And this is why dark matter can't be seen because I, I don't know how you feel unless you, unless you choose to express it, unless you bring the yin realm to the yang realm, unless you bring your right brain to the left brain, unless you logically, consciously show me how you felt by either talking or uh, using a yang planet, by either talking like Mercury or showing your actions like the sun, if things of that nature, you see what I'm saying? So, but for the most part, uh, the, the, I can't, I don't know your emotions and feelings, but I know it takes shape. So if everything is frequency, vibration, and energy, we know things come from the subconscious realm first. So things gonna things before things manifest in your life, they take shape and form in that realm first. So this is what scientists and things are observing. You see what I'm saying? So I, I need a million views on this because I'm I I just seen a couple uh motherfucking videos that these motherfuckers got a, b a bunch of people who really logical, really left brain, and they talking all of this ring around the rosy, and they got a million views telling you what a particle and and what dark matter is when it's it's some shit that ain't even that that difficult and stupid. Oh, they don't record it, when it, when it's something that ain't even um it ain't even something that hard to even think about. You see what I'm saying? But they give you all this ring around it and make you pay all these billions of dollars to tell you something that I'm telling you for free.
like I said once again, uh, uh, what's a particle? A particle is when uh, when you when a thought is given off, right? That's it is it appears as a, a photon or a proton. Then once it once it perceive something out of the wave, it, it's a reflection of that proton. So that that little point out of that wave becomes a neutron. They come together and, and, and that creates electron. That electron is a spark and that spark is the particle. It, that spark creates what could be observed. And then that's what scientists call as particles. So they observe in their thoughts, but they're telling you that it's something else. You see, and dark matter is, a, is emotions and feelings, but in a collective. So if everybody got if everybody got feelings and thoughts and emotions that nobody can see, then that we're, though, that ain't nowhere. It's energy. So it's it. That's what fills space. That's what fills certain locations in space with certain vibrations. This is why this location in space may feel different than this location in space. AKA when you at your house, you feel different than when you at somebody else's house. Different locations. It's different vibrations that's going on in there. So when on a less dense level, that's what's going on here. So this is why this is why I get in. Y'all think I'm pseudoscience and scientists. You think I'm pseudoscience, but no, I'm talking about real life. When I say over souls and when I say planetary energies and consciousness and shit. Because just scientifically and astronomy wise, you have to come to this conclusion. Certain objects in certain locations in space rotate and relate differently based upon the location and the space that they in. And when they come and when they do that rotation or whatever or come together like that, it create other energies and outputs that can affect the body or wherever location you in. This is how y'all even tell in time. This is how y'all even came up with heat sources. This is how y'all even came up with electricity. So how you gonna say what I'm talking about ain't right? You see what I'm saying? When I'm just I'm just basically you telling telling you what it actually is. So don't tell me no lie and try to take a million dollars out of my pocket to to put into your machines to collide some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you gotta understand that. I don't be able to turn the condition. Now, uh, now you gotta understand that when you go to the the thoughts and thinking about waves and thinking about dark matter, dark matter is a collection of emotions and feelings. You see what I'm saying? It's a collective. It's a collection. And if everybody got emotions and feelings in the universe, right? Then that's a lot of people. That's a lot of things. That's a lot of conscious things. That's a lot of conscious planets. That's a lot of uh this, that, and the third. You see what I'm saying? So. It's, it's gonna it's gonna seem it's gonna it's gonna take up a lot of the mass that that the scientists see, but then they can't see it. You see what I'm saying? Just like unless it's chosen to be expressed. So this is how you know the more shit and the more conscious aware people get, the more they can be able to express, the more people will be able to see what's in the dark. But it was shit that was already there. You see what I'm saying? So just think about it. The more high in consciousness you get, the more you can see. When really it's just you the it's like the the more consciously aware in the spirit realm is more like the more light you got and the more light shine on the more now you see more in the dark that you didn't see before you know what I'm saying and and it plays out it it plays out through humans like uh they found they find the new planets they got new new technologies they got new telescopes they they find the new asteroids new planets and shit like that because they're getting higher consciously aware of what they're doing so they're able to observe more but what I'm telling you is this is what it's doing in the spirit realm, and you need to know that's what it's doing first. <clears throat> so start scientifically taking y'all left brain and, and observe that first, because that's what is that's what's happening before you even get to get to the place that y'all can observe it externally. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's why it's even called matter in the first place, because the emotions, the soul, the vibration, it do, that does matter. And you got a lot of left brain beings on Earth to tell you that it doesn't matter. And that's how they science go. That's why the science too left brain. That's why it's not right brain, because they trying to say it don't, that. And that's why they can't. Up, and it's so left brain. That's why they can't observe matter. That's why they can't observe dark matter, because <laughs> they too busy left brain when they that's telling you. I'm telling you as Archangel Uriel. Get more into the right brain, and you can start observing more of the dark matter. So it don't, so it don't seem uneven. So, cause if you're gonna be more left brain, you missing a whole spectrum. So everything you logically coming coming up with, you missing large pieces of it. Which I'm telling you, the dark matter is a, is the emotions and the feelings. You see what I'm saying? But y'all can build on that. You see what I'm saying? But that's ultimately what it is. Is is a vibration. You know what I'm saying? Like emotions and feelings 
they do matter. And you have to understand that because that's the wave. And if you don't, if you too left brain, you'll understand that you're going to go into particles and shit and create some other shit first <clears throat> with the wave. Create some external shit in the wave that don't need to be, that's, that's not even created, a.k.a. particles in the first place. You see what I'm saying? Like, your emotions, your feelings, it does it does matter. And soon scientists tap into that, they'll be able to find more of the more percentage of the dark matter and the more, and be able to understand what it is. Flight boss bitch, goddamn air.